John Wick Chapter 3 is officially in theaters. And, oh my god, it was good. So, what happens? So, it takes place directly, like, maybe minutes right after the ending of John Wick Chapter 2, where he officially, because he killed on, in the continent, on sacred grounds, he officially became excommunicado, and that would come into effect in one hour. So, John is literally running rampant, just trying to get out of Manhattan, because... It's full of other assassins that would want a that want to kill him for the forty million dollar bounty on his head. So he goes to a lady named the director, who basically gives him safe passage. Or you know, he goes to the New York Public Library and he's able to get a catch to to his catch that has a medallion and so a few of the coins that are used to go check into, into the con continental hotels and a um, ticket so it goes to a lady named the director for dropping his dog off with Charin at the uh, continental since he just doesn't want his dog involved so he goes to a lady named the director who gives him safe passage to Casablanca and while John's on his way over there, the people of a um, lady from the high table goes to the Continental in New York, talks to Winston and says that because he let John Wick get an hour before he was um, dubbed excommunicado, that in seven days he will basically he will have to give up being the manager of the New York Continental. Continental uh, Hotel So then she the lady goes to the Bowery King which is played by Lawrence Fishburne, which I love which that's just yes um, And basically because the Bowery King helped John In the last movie he basically she since he gave John um, seven rounds seven bullets she basically gets slashes him seven times almost killing him so then John arrives in Casablanca where he meets another, an old assassin friend named Sophia. And then basically she's now the manager of the Casablanca Continental Hotel. So she goes to, so she, both of them go to the old manager of the, of the hotel where basically John, he asks him how to meet, excuse me, the elder, basically the leader of the high table, the one in charge, the one who started the high table, basically so he can just try and get undo his excommunicado. Just because John, he does not want to live his life like this running. He'd rather live than die. So then, so basically, he tells um, the guy, the old manager, he tells John that in order to get to the elder, he has to walk in the Sahara Desert until he falls and collapses and then has to walk a bit further until he can no longer then maybe he will meet the elder so in exchange for that information the the guy the old manager he wants one of Sophia's two um, German shepherds and Sophia obviously refuses so the guy he what does he do since this is a John Wick film he shoots the dog but he does not kill it, thank God. That would have been even sadder. So then the two of them, John Wick and Sophia, fight it out um, out of there. And it is just, they do so good. Like the camera angles, the shooting, what they do with the dogs. It's just, it's really good. I mean, Keanu Reeves and Haley Berry, that's who played Sophia. They just did amazing, both of them. Um, that whole scene was just flawless. So then basically... Um, John, Sophia takes John to the desert and she has officially fulfilled her, her medallion. So John puts his thumbprint on and they're all good. So, yeah, so then John walks in the desert until he collapses then walks a bit further and then he's found by the, some of the elders people. So he goes to the elder, he gets, re, you know, he, he gathers his senses. And the elder basically says he will let John in 
back in, he will undo his excommunicado and let him live if he fulfills the task. So basically the task is to kill Winston, which is basically who the um, who who is the New York City um, Continental Hotel Manager, who is a really good friend of John Wick's. And in order to prove his loyalty, he basically, John Wick, he literally severs his ring finger, literally just takes a knife and cuts it off and gives these ring, his wedding ring, to the Elder, signifying his official return and how determined how determined he is. So, John Wick, he goes back, he goes back to New York while on the way to the Continental, he is attacked by a assassin that was assigned by the High Table Lady, his name is Zero, to basically kill John Wick. But John Wick makes it to the Continental, and since the rule is you can't kill on the con in the Continental, he's safe. So he goes up to see Winston, and Winston basically just then they talk, and Winston basically just says, "John, would you rather die? Since John Wick, he's no matter what choice he makes, he's gonna die. So he just says, "John, would you rather die as a man, as a murderer, or would you just die as a man that can still love and just..." and just to live life because if John Wick actually killed Winston his ex McConnell would have been gone but he would have had to serve the high table but if he doesn't then John he can just rebel and live a, be a free man if, like Winston because Winston has made his choice and he says he does not want to give in he does not want to conform to the high table he's going to rebel and fight against them so the lady comes in to both of them and both of them say their choices John both of them reject the high table and they officially are rebelling and in response the lady she basically makes the New York City um, Continental officially like it's it's gone like she pretty much just shuts it down that that Winston is no longer the owner and that no one owns it that it's like officially just confiscated so but then in order to take control of it wins so basically um, Winston, John, and his dog, which isn't going to do much, um, and the concierge, the hotel concierge, Charin, they basically take aim, ready to fire, and fight for the Continental. So the, so the lady, she sends in Zero, his men, and just a few other, and a whole bunch of guards, and Charin and John, they fight in epic, just gunfire battle, the lighting is great, the action is good. Both of them just destroying these guys. So then John Wick fights some of Zero's men and, and Zero himself in the fight. Like, Zero, he's a really, I like him, he's a good character. And in the end, John Wick, he kills Zero. So then, um, the lady, Winston, and Charn, and John Wick, they all meet in a parlay and basically. This was all just an act to show their strength. Basically, Winston just says that this was an act just to show their, just to show their strength that they will not back down, that they will not give in to the high table. So, proving that, that just showing their resilience, the lady speaks to the high table and they all agree that Winston can, and that the everything that the New York City Continental can just go back into business and that Winston will be the manager again. But, but then they're just wondering what should they do with John Wick since he's, he still is excommunicado and he's truly a danger since he literally killed so many people, just caused so much chaos over a puppy, a puppy, and, a, and his car being stolen. So, um, so basically Winston just says, shoot him. So he literally shoots him and puts him off the building and he plunges down face first into the street so then yeah so then um the lady she goes to check and she finds that john wick's body is gone like gone like he's not dead he's just he just disappeared and it is revealed that that um the bowery king some of his followers found john and brought him to the bowery king and then the movie ends with the bowery king just asking john are you mad? And John says, yeah. And then it ends. So, John Wick Chapter 3, the action was good, the characters, they did their parts. 
Like, everything was just really good. My one complaint that I really have, that I can really think of, is that, in, like, they were fighting in, like, public places. Like, they fought in Grand Central Station, and just all these public places in the city. And yet, no one, like, reacted. Like, in the second movie, everyone was, like, panicking and just running away and screaming. But during the fight scenes in this movie, no one was panicking. Everyone was just, like, going about their business as if nothing was happening. That was really my only complaint. Um, and I am really surprised by the ending. I thought this would be, like, the end that John was either going to die or that he was just going to live out the rest of his days happy with his dog. But neither of those things happened. So I thought. So I guess this is this is going to be last longer. There's going. I I can. I'm just confident saying that this there's going to be a John Wick Chapter Four coming out someday soon. Jo my review. My I grade this movie an A minus. This movie was great. See it if you can, especially if you. Although first I think you should see the first two John Wicks if you haven't. And yeah. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give this a like and subscribe. And if you've not. And tell me in the comments, if you saw the movie, do you think Winston truly meant what he did? Do you think he's officially against John? Because I don't think he is. I'm 90% sure that was all just an act pushing him off the building in the end. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.